Hi, hi, we're back with another weekly basket and I'm excited to share with you the products I'll be using for this week, January 19th to 25th. And if you'd like to see the goodies I'll be using this month, please keep on watching. So we're going to start with Feast. And I have quite a few uh, quite a few things that are new that I recently got hold and I'm super excited to start using them. I did use a lot, quite a bit of them on my face already today in this look and um, yes, yeah, so look out for reviews on these products very soon. Alright, so face moisturizer wise we have this um, Nourish Organic Lightweight Moisturizing Face Lotion. Got it in this January Ipsy bag. I want to use it. Not too pleased with it, but I'm using it. I do. I am wearing it. I also have for primers this Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I know a lot of people compare this to the Benefit Professional. You know, I love the Benefit Professional, so was really excited to try this. So I have this here, but one of my friends actually did have an allergic reaction to it, so I was really scared to you know see if that would be the same case to me. So I actually threw in my Smashbox photo finish primer now um, this is oil free etc I've used this before I like it so I know it will work so that's it for primers for foundation I'm using this Lancome Tint Ole Ultra I guess that's French my color is in bisque I did try this yesterday and it stayed on for close to 15 hours which is amazing loved it um, in addition to that I've pulled out two Rimmel products one new one all oh, this is my Rimmel match perfection foundation this is in 340 nude and I also got this Rimmel C matte liquid mousse foundation and this is in sand 300 sand I am wearing actually the baby skin and this stay matte um, foundation on um, to set it I have two powders I have my Jordana forever flawless press powder this one is in light honey I am using this right now but also what I plan to use this week was, will be this wet and well um, product from, from the Fergie collection I hate tickling my face sorry um, take on the day mattifying powder I didn't use it today because I was already using these two to try it out so I felt since this is already stay matte I would like maybe use this matte powder when I use this Rimmel Match Perfection foundation so those were it for powders for contour I am using my elf contour blush and bronzer this one is in Antigua and this was looks this is what it looks like it gives me a pretty kind of harsh not really harsh contour but it's it's much darker than the others that I have been using so I have to blend out quite a bit and I also get a blush here and I have two other blushes nothing too crazy and the first one is this um, from Starry. It's the Precious Mineral Blush, and it's a lightweight, long-lasting, smooth. This um, gives you a natural glow. This is in number four, and it is what I'm wearing. I it's very um, pigmented, so I literally had to be very light. I barely touched it, and that's what you get. So really, really, really pigmented. And I will. I don't know about the way. I literally used a fluffy brush to blend it up because I felt I looked like a clown. This one is in number two. This is what it looks like. I actually like this color a lot. It's like a peachy um, color, which is really really nice. And it has this one has more of a glow than this one. This one appears to be almost matte on the skin, whereas this one has a nice sheen. It's really really nice. And my highlighter for this week would be my Elf Big Blush in blush gems this is my highlighter big I um highlighter did I say blush that's a there very nice um color you know just nothing too glittery or anything like that so that pretty much is my fit would be my face products for this week all right so for eyes I am gonna stick with a smashbox um it is finishing so I really really want to finish it and not start something else you know and this is just in and it dries up and I lose out on it I have my e.l.f. eyelid primer which supposedly is finishing but it never finishes and I'm sure I have like a month supply again in here so I will just keep trying to have this occurring with another primer that kind of thing until it finishes base I have um, two but one would be mossy green from my Maybelline color tattoo I'm really trying to make an effort to use these things up and that's the one I do like maybe green eyes or a little smoky 
then I have this elf not elf sorry Maybelline color tattoo again in gold shimmer really love this one in particular it gives you a nice bronzy gold kind of look it's super gorgeous in addition to that I did use today this um, Elizabeth Mott shadow smooth shadow eye pencil as a base don't really like it um, I just stick to it on my waterline and speaking of waterline I will be using that I have my MAC brown border here as usual I, I love that my black black from wet a while color icon recently I swatched this on my hand and I did like all my house chores and everything and it was still on in the night it was like faded out a bit but it was still on so I was like I really need to pull that out I use my ultra teal blue this is waterproof um, just to give pop of color and my physician's formula which also is amazing and it has amazing staying power um, it's I don't usually like to wear red or pinky colors on my waterline but it's a gorgeous purple so I think it's just gonna give a nice pop of color this has amazing staying power and I'm trying to gonna make sure I take it off because if I do it and it sets it's going to stay on all day so that's it for um, primer liner on my water um, my upper lash line I actually found my Lorac I told you guys last week that I lost it I found it and it's the Lorac front of the line pro and this is in black I love it it's what I'm wearing it's super super easy you do it does not give you the black it's black and you make just have to go over it twice once sorry so there's two layers of it but it stays on all day it dries instantly love it for undergo Sills Booster X style is still here and three mascaras my mark is starting to clumpy and all that kind of stuff so that's out the door my Clinique um, High Impact Mascara is still going. I think by the end of the month that's going to be finished along with my Urban Decay Super Cool Cooling Mascara. Um, I think this is actually maybe even going to go faster than that. And I also have my Benefits. They are real. And I think next week I'm going to splash in one of the new mascaras I recently got so that I can review it for you guys. So that's it for mascara. Eyeshadows would be firstly the Naked Truth. Um, this is from the new Wet n Well. 5 pan eyeshadow palette. I am using it here. I really like the darker taupey colors. Somehow the lighter ones. I'm not so particular about them so far. I pulled out this MAC um, eyeshadow palette in Fresh Cut. I had this a long time. This is from one of those old, old collections. I need to show this thing some love. So that's what the colors look like. And that's why I pulled out my gold shimmer because I felt that they would go good together. I also pulled out the Sunset Seduction from Maybelline Eye Studio and this is super super gorgeous and uh, last thing would be these clean color color de decoder because it has a, like some fun colors so if I want to do any fun looks I have this as against a lot of these just neutral warm kind of colors and for eyebrows we have I pulled out back my Chella and my wet gloss from e.l.f. is still going Conceal on the eye would definitely have to be my Jordana because I need to finish this thing. I'm using other stuff and this is just there and I need to finish it. So I pulled it out and I'm using it but I really have horrible dark circles right now. So it's not covering it. I'm not totally pleased and then I'm using the light foundation this week but it's what I have. I will use it and try to finish it and my banana powder is in here as usual. So that's so for lips we have a couple goodies here um first would be my makeup beauty i got this in my january ipsy so i want to use it it says it's a balm a tinted lip balm but this thing is and i will show it to you again i swatched it in that video but that's what it is it's gorgeous it's such a bold rose pink color to me it's not tinted it does stain your fingers also yeah these people call it it is like a lipstick, a consistency of a lipstick. And I have a lot of nude lips, lipsticks in this week basket because I am at work most of the week. And last week I think I had like one nude lipstick and stuff and I and lip glosses. And I killed those. But recently I've been into a nude kick. Very strange, but I've been into a nude kick. So we have a lot of nudes here. First would be from the um, new Maybelline nudes. Um, this one is called... 945 Stormy Sahara. So this is what it looks like. Really gorgeous. I'll swatch it for you guys. 
I am wearing it. I love it. I love it. It's amazing nude. But I think it's very comparable to maybe some of the MAC lipsticks that I have. So we have Brave here. And I'll swatch it since I'm just on a swatching. I love Brave. Brave is like a pinky nude. Very gorgeous. I love it. It's one of my favorite nudes from MAC. And then I think this one is called Amoras. I just decided to pull this out as against another nude because I think this one from Maybelline looks like Hug Me from MAC. Very similar. But Amoras is more like a dark vampy color. So I thought, okay, I need to add something to it, um, to this selection. And I have four, three others, sorry. Um, this one is for red. These, because I want to do a night look for you guys with smoky eyes. And this one is Holiday Red from Jordana. Gorgeous color. Really like it. I love to sm sniff Jordana lipsticks. Then we have another Jordana, which is Geranium, you know. Me and my pink lips, I really had to have something in this week. And then I pulled out this LA Colors. And this one is in CP228, which I think is looks very similar to Forever. But it's gorgeous. And I have a couple lip liners to go with these. One Vampy, and this is from MN, me now. So it's really vampy. As you can see, it's like that gorgeous maroon color. Then we have Sand Pink from NYX. So it's going to go good with Geranium or maybe Brave. I also have a Nude from Clean Color. It's called Nude. And that's it there. I didn't use Nude today. I just felt to not put on lip pencil. And then another Clean Color. This is Plush Red. To me it doesn't really look red. So that's the Holiday Red and that's the Plush Red. Which looks more like a pinky red to me. But I thought... I'll put it in nonetheless so that it can help with my red not to swear. And for lip gloss, I actually just had to pull in this because I wore it with my lip Maybelline. And this is my Milani lip mixer that I had last week in lip still. Got so many compliments with this lip gloss. I wore it alone on my lips. Got so many compliments. So I was like, you know what? I'm trying this in this week. I love it. It's staying in my handbag. I think it's just going to be one of those staples I have in my handbag with me that goes everywhere. If you want to see what's in my bag, like my makeup bag, updated one and all of that stuff, let me know. I'll do it for you guys. So, I know it's a lot of stuff in this week's basket. I'm really anxious to try some of the new stuff that I got. And if you want to review on any of those things, my first impression uh, or a first impression, let me know. I will do that for you guys very, very soon. So, thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed this week's basket. Bye-bye.